Let me introduce you to Orpheus Island. This pristine paradise is one of those dream destinations that you see in magazines or on TV shows. It's surrounded by the Great Barrier Reef and it's decked out with all the latest luxuries. But I'm not here to make you jealous, I'm here to show you around, so come on, let's go. The Orpheus experience starts with the journey. A 25 minute scenic chopper flight from Townsville and you've left life as you know it behind. Orpheus Island is all about creating that ultimate tropical paradise. A recent multi-million dollar facelift has the resort up there with the best in the country. And with a limit of just 34 guests, it promises peace and tranquility. I've checked into a beachfront villa. The room is amazing and you can't get much closer to the beach than this. Another great draw card is that the entire resort is all inclusive so you don't have to worry about a thing. Except of course, how will I fill in my day? Jackie? Hi. I am ready for some adventure. And I've been told you're the woman to guide me. I am. I look after the activities on the island, so we have, what, plenty of things that you can do here. We have our paddle boards up here on the beach and our kayaks. We have snorkel trips and we also have on-water boats, our little Hobie Cat over there if you want to learn to sail or can mm. sail. And we also have our guest dinghies which you can take out after a, a bit of a safety briefing and a lesson. Oh, you can take your dinghy yes, and drive it. Yes, you can it. and you can drive it, yes. A boat licence isn't required for the dinghies, just a quick introductory lesson and you're off. There is a restricted area which boats mustn't leave, but there's plenty to explore within the boundaries, including an underwater spectacle exclusive to Orpheus. Well, Bridget, we've arrived at our clam gardens. Out here we have about 70 clams that were planted 30 years ago. I think they're amazing. They're really amazing. Is this the only way you're allowed to look at them? No, you can actually get in the water and snorkel around if you wish. And at low tide, if the water is low enough, they're actually out of the water so you can walk out from the shore. Guests can also power up their dinghies and visit a few secluded bays around the island. On request, the kitchen can piece together a gourmet picnic lunch. You know, my picnics are sort of a bit of, you know, bread and maybe a chalk, but look at this. We go out of our way to make sure our guests have everything they need and are comfortable and well entertained and looked after. For me, one of my most favourite things about the island is that if I wanted to just step in there, I think I would bang into coral. Is that right? In most places, yes. We have a fringing coral reef that um, encompasses most of the island and most of the island groups around here where we can actually go snorkelling or diving. That's unusual, isn't it? That's a great draw card. It is. We have several spots where we can take you snorkelling and each one has a little bit of a different ecosystem in it and different fish. With all this talk about the reef, I couldn't miss the opportunity to dive in and see it for myself. There's a growing number of locations to explore in the region and trips go out almost every second day, depending on guest preferences. We've jumped in at a site understandably called the Coral Gardens, near one of the neighbouring islands. Under the surface, it's a field of colour, with a huge variety of coral and a drop-off brimming with tropical fish. Amazing, great visibility, full of life. As the sun sinks low, afternoons on Orpheus can be as jam-packed or as laid back as you wish. But as night falls and the sky is blanketed with stars, it's time for the island's culinary delights to really shine. The whole team, along with the incredibly talented head chef Ari, are more than passionate, not just about food, but about the whole dining experience. From decadent digger stations to tonight's teppanyaki barbecue, on Orpheus there is a clear focus on top-notch cuisine. For foodies, it's seventh heaven. Admittedly, this kind of luxury doesn't come cheap. Accommodation at Orpheus starts from $1,400 per night for two people. But it includes all meals, a 